this this is pretty cool right this is a video or it's a video clip taken from drake's latest video for his song jumbo jumbotron shit popping which i'm assuming is from the album that he did with 21 savage if i'm not mistaken and it's pretty cool because what you see in the video is him flexing loads of jewelry that he has bought from pharrell's auction that happened recently pharrell did an auction where he auctioned off loads of his past pieces stuff that he doesn't wear anymore is kind of over and loads of really cool iconic things if you're kind of you know part of that lifestyle and you know where i'll go on from back in the day with the babe and bbc and what he meant to the culture back then and he kind of sold all this stuff off and you know and included gold psp that you can see drake wearing it involved an old star star track logo with all of people from nerd on it included um some skateboard chain that i think drake's been flossing and wearing for a few times but loads of cool really interesting pieces and i really liked it but the response of people online and social media has been a bit split some people have been loving it and thinking it looks really cool that he's buying it other people thinks you know like it's a bit strange that he's buying my man's jewelry and flexing it out on the gram and maybe they're saying because they're quite close in age that's a bit strange that he's kind of you know doing this thing but i like it i really do like it i think it's pretty cool i think it gives life to pieces of jewelry that would probably ended up in a museum somewhere because that's probably where they should belong considering their connection to culture and whatnot if they weren't going to be bought by somebody who was going to wear it maybe just put them in a, in a, in a you know in a museum because i think the actual auction themselves they kind of popped them up like museum pieces that loads of information that kind of tied in next to it you can kind of read to see some sort of background information on it whatnot but i think the pieces themselves are absolutely gorgeous now they've got the here on the screen so i think there's a place where he did the auction called jupiter and as you can see that's the gold um blackberry that i think he also sold in auction i'm not sure if drake has that one that's a blackberry set eight set was that eight eighty seven so eight seven hundred and that sold for what it looks like here sold for forty five thousand pounds forty five thousand dollars sorry um the other chain that drake also has i think it's this astronaut one made by jacob and co astronaut pendant that sold for one hundred and thirteen thousand um this one's one of my favorites i think in the whole collection there's this necklace here which is called the pearl necklace with a white emerald charm which is amazing so beautiful especially when you consider how corny and cheesy people's pearl necklaces are nowadays everyone's got these weird choker things that they're wearing and paint their nails black whereas this is like a nice kind of relaxed chain that kind of comes just you know it kind of sits a bit more easy on your neck doesn't choke you and maybe sits kind of just above your nipples and it's got this really nice emerald little motif on the end and it kind of if you look at the design it kind of would be similar to something that you'd wear as a bracelet but it's kind of been made as a necklace which i really like and then of course the piece of resistance is the one on the right hand side we sold for 2.184 million which is the jacob and co nerd pendant chain which i think has got i think those are called zip baguettes i'm not sure i forgot what the links are called it's a particular kind of link but i remember when he debuted that was the first time i saw that link on the chain and it features a pendant with obviously the members of nerd there and the dog also which is pretty awesome there's another chain here which features the nerd brain logo which is cool um you've got another necklace here from jacob and co with great emeralds on it you've got another set of dice here from jacob and co jacob and co was doing so much good shit back in the day you've got oakley's i've been diamonded out with i think maybe that's what ian connor got his idea to he's got a pair of glasses i think he's got a pair of maybe ray-bans that he's got you know ali anteed out here going forward you got another skateboard uh, you got a necklace with the skateboards on it which is pretty cool again um so pretty nice interesting things that drake was able to get and my favorites were definitely these casio g-shocks that have been uh bust down and i like them because i guess I'm not too sure if it was limitation at the time when jacob McCobb was making them but i like the fact that these bust downs of these casios have only been applied to the face of the watch and not the straps so you still got the conventional rubber plastic whatever resin strap that you'd get from a casio and in the front dial is still the same but the actual face itself that houses the watch is being bust down so that's it so it's still it's like a regular watch but a little bit of sparkle and detail on top which is pretty sick so the gold watch sold for fifty seven thousand fifty seven thousand and five hundred dollars and then the one that is you would describe as like diamonds with maybe some colored stones here and there sold for seventy three thousand and seventy three 
thousand seven hundred and fifty hundred, whatever. How, how do you say numbers? Was that seventy three thousand seven hundred and fifty? Yeah, there we go. Jesus Christ! And then of course you got the Odom and her Odom bars, which I've never been a fan of in terms of a watch personally. The most of a status symbol, but yeah, overall really cool and amazing watch. I actually remember buying one of these Jacob Co. Time Zone fake watches back in the day in the market and flexing them. That was a good time to be alive, man. What a time! Imagine going. To, imagine being a kid like myself working in retail. And you're wearing a flipping Jacob and Co. watch. It's like so stupid. <laughs> you're making seven pound an hour, and you're wearing a diamond, alleged diamond encrusted Jacob and Co. watch. But that that was a good era. But I don't know. I like what Drake is doing. I like the recycling of other people's jewelry, especially iconic pieces like that that really define a moment in history, a moment in time. I think they look absolutely great on him, also. Um, and yeah, it's just another way for kids to get educated and find out what's going on in it and what the deal was. Do their history, um, do their research, you know, study up on some things, and kind of see where this inspiration actually comes from. And plus, I still think he has really interesting, good taste in own jewelry because he wears Homer stuff as well. You know, he's all plugged into that kind of thing. So I think that's really cool. So I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Big fan of it. Big up Drake for wearing that stuff and making it pop again and making it go viral, viral, viral. Next.